Hey, what's up everyone? Daniel Lightning back with another Warbots video. So anybody who hasn't been playing the game for a while and would like to come back, I'm going to give you guys some tips on what will make it easier to come back to the game and do well after returning without playing for the last, I don't know, six months or year or two years or whatever it is. There's a lot of older robots and weapons that are still doing really well in the game. So if you don't know what's good, come to one of us YouTubers and just be like, hey, what's good? You can pop on like, uh, you know, the official Discord or the official Reddit or something and ask there as well. But I mean, right now I've got Hades in my hangar. I've got Invader in there. I got Fenrir. I mean, those are old robots and they're still doing great. You can't complain about those. Uh, recently, I had some Sparks and some Scourges on Every one of my robots, like I ran a whole hangar with nothing but Sparks and Scourge, and those are old school weapons, and they were doing great. So, you don't have to have the newest stuff. I mean, it definitely helps, but if you're returning, there's a lot of older stuff that you can use that you can definitely get away with, at least for a while. Now, if you don't mind spending a few bucks, if you look in the daily deal section, there's some amazing deals in there almost every day now from Mark II robots with Mark II weapons for like $12 or $15. I mean, you can get like four weapons and a robot all up Mark II for like 15 bucks. And a lot of those robots and weapons that are in those deals are pretty darn good. Sometimes there's like cheap drones in there with gold chips and all kinds of good stuff like that. Now, if you used to be in a clan or you got a bunch of old friends that used to play the game, hit them up, see if they're still around, see if they're still playing, because it's always a lot more fun and you'll do better usually if you run with a bunch of uh, good guys, right? A good group of players together does great compared to playing with a bunch of random players. So with randoms, you never know who you're going to get. So if you got some old friends that are good at the game, definitely look them up and uh, see if you can get a hold of them. If you're good at free-for-all, play a lot of free-for-all because you can earn a load of silver by playing free-for-all. Free-for-all is probably one of the best modes to farm resources. I can go into the free-for-all and get a million plus silver per game, which is amazing. Remember to use the old school tactics. We got corner shooting, using cover, try to identify what bot you're about to go up against before you run in and try to attack it. You know, there's a lot of tactics that can really help you these days. But when you run in and try to attack something and you don't know what it's capable of doing, well, you're kind of at the disadvantage. So always try to identify the target before you attack. And things do change. There's always new weapons and new robots in the game. So when you get back on, if you haven't played for a while, try and learn what the new robots and weapons do and how to fight against them. There's still a lot of robots in the workshop that are really good, so... If you don't currently like some of the stuff you have and you think I need some new stuff and I need it pretty quick, I think you can generally build a robot in the workshop in about three weeks. And if you watch ads, I hear you can actually build one really fast. I don't know the exact time on it, but if you watch the ads every day, I've actually heard it reduces a lot of time off the build so you can actually build one pretty quick. I haven't actually tried it, so I don't know the exact amount of time reduction, but a few of my friends said it's very significant. When it comes to drones, remember Nebula is still one of the best drones for any robot because it's the one drone that's kind of like universal. You can throw it on any single robot and it's going to work. Now, a uh, chip setup like this is what I would recommend. We got one control resistor, but you can put anything you want on that first slot. On repair unit defense chips and on mild damage absorber are awesome. Anytime you're being shot at and you're like, I need some defense points now, you can just hit the healing module. And the nice thing about those is you can get that healing or that defense points anytime you want by hitting the healing, which is great. If you're one of those guys that likes to run phase shift and you got a couple glider drones running around, hey, gliders are still pretty darn good. Next thing is to take a good look at your modules. Make sure you still have good modules on there. I mean, fortifiers are still great for things with shields. You got heavy armor kits, which are old school, but they still work really well. Um, you got your balance units, which are great. You got your last stands, which still work really good. So there's still a lot of older modules that are really nice. We got the nuclear amplifiers, the repair amplifiers, and the immune amplifiers. Those are probably the best ones right now. Mainly these two. I love the nuke amps and the repair amps. Those are awesome, but there's still some older modules that will do you very well if that's what you need to use. Now, when it comes to pilot skills, they have released some new pilot skills recently, but a lot of the old skills, skills are still really, really good. So there's really no reason to change over, but eventually when you save up some more gold, you might want to kind of 
relook at your pilots and you might see a skill or two that you're like, hey, I would rather have that than this. So just check those out when you get a chance. And remember, the game does change kind of fast. So there's always a bunch of new robots, and new weapons running around out there on the battlefield with kind of crazy skills and this and that and who knows what. But it's always kind of been like that. So I think you guys are probably used to that one. But like I was saying, just kind of figure out what the new stuff does in. Try to identify your target before you go into attack because you'll have a much better chance of going up against that new stuff when you know what it is and you know when you're about to go up against it and how to fight against it. But if you haven't played in a while, War Robots would love to have you back. So we definitely hope, hope to see you out on the battlefield soon. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome War Robots, War Robots news, information, gameplay, builds, and all kinds of good stuff like that. Always feel free to leave comments and ask questions. I'm here to help you guys out. Also, help me out. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell, set those notifications to all. And if you'd really like to help support the channel, check out the thank you button or the join button down below the video. And there's a bunch of other stuff in the uh, video's description. There's some links in there that will help me out as well. So... Any of that would be amazing. If you can do it, cool. If you can't do it, that's fine. But I think that wraps this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are always super amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.